Dang, I can see you really sure about this strike. You ain't even in your business clothes. Of course I'm sure. I'm tired of working under Chloe's working conditions. But we need to call a group meeting to make sure everyone's still on board. We gotta have another group meeting? Yeah, to make sure nobody's switching up on us. Well, I definitely agree with you on that. Good, now go round up everybody and tell them to meet us in the break room. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you for meeting me. We need to talk about this strike. Wait, where's Mason and Mason? They called and they said they'll be running late. Oh, really? Let's just hope they didn't back out. Now back to Chloe, we need to get rid of her. Right, because I'm tired of her. Yeah, she's a nightmare. Well, we can't just let her keep walking over us like that. We need to take action, now. What kind of action are we talking about? A strike. We protest until she agrees to treat us better. I'm in. I want a real lunch break, not a five minute sprint to the bathroom. Yeah, and decent comp in the break room. I don't know, I don't wanna lose my job. And what if she fire us? Katie, we have to stand together. If we don't, nothing will change. I don't know, this could backfire on all of us. Kaden, we need you. You can help us make this work. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. Great, we'll start today. I already got the poster boards and the markers for our signs. Hey, you better not be late again or you gonna be fired. Honey, oh my God. Y'all better be lucky y'all make me some more. Y'all, ooh. What are y'all doing? Oh, nothing. Just playing in some office reorganization. Oh, that's why y'all dress like that. Anyways, that's good because this place looks a mess. And make sure y'all clean up all that junk off y'all desk. No problem. After all, I did learn from the best. Oh, you trying to be funny? No, not at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's get started on these signs. I'm down, but if it come down to me getting fired, I'm out. Yeah, because I can't afford losing my job. Understood. Let's just focus on making our missions clear, and I'll see y'all later on today. All right, y'all. This is it. This is finally our time to make a stand. Get rid of Chloe! Get rid of Chloe! Get rid of Chloe! Get rid of Chloe! Make the job great again! 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 Better work conditions! Better work conditions! Better work conditions! Better work conditions! Treat us fair! Treat us fair! Treat us fair! until you make things easier around here. Wait, you all are making a huge mistake. Get back inside or y'all will all be fired. Fired? Tell you, I don't know about this. I can't afford to move my job. Yeah, this is getting out of hand. She talking about firing us. Y'all, that was enough. She all cap. Do I look like the type to cap? I'm sorry, Taylor, but I need my job. Wait, are you serious? You can't back down now. I'm on for change, but I ain't losing my job, cuz it. Bro, you can't back out now. Looks like your little rebellion is falling apart. The rest of you get back to work now or y'all fired. I'm sorry, Taylor. I can't afford to lose my job. And these heels hurt my feet. I, I see you never. Rakaya, it's like that? Me either. I make six figures a year. Why can't you not make that much? Um, I'm out. And you should drop this. Whatever, Malaysia. I ain't going nowhere till you treat us better. Ain't no us. It look like it's just you. Consider yourself fired. You know what? This isn't over. Get rid of Chloe! Get rid of Chloe! Make our jobs easier! Make our jobs easier! Ugh. All right, let's get this over with. I'm looking for people who can handle pressure and get things done. Send that little music girl in, Lyrica, whatever her name is. Come in! Good evening, Miss Chloe. I'm excited for this opportunity. Excited, huh? Tell me, Lyrica, how do you handle stress? Well, I believe it's staying calm and focused, and I can manage my time. Mmm, is that right? Okay, you done. Out. But she didn't even look at my resume. I don't need to see it. I heard everything I needed to hear. Out. Go. And send that Antoine dude in next. Hey. 
my wrist, watch it spin. Come in. What can you bring to the table, Antoine? It's Anthony, and I'm ready to bring my skills to your team. And what are those skills, Antoine? It's Anthony, and I'm a strong communicator, and I have a neck for problem solving under pressure. Mm-hmm, we'll see about that. Get out, go. But you didn't even see my resume. I don't need to see your resume. I done heard everything I need to hear. But you told me to bring my resume. Look, I lied. Just, just go. Get out. And send that. What his name is? Call the boy in. Send him in. Come in. I don't need that. I don't want that. Uh, hi. I'm Cam. I've got experience in project management and background in media arts. Interesting. Do you think you can handle the fast-paced environment around here? Absolutely. I thrive in challenging situations every day. Uh-huh. Go on. on. Just, just go. But you ain't even reading my resume, though. I don't need the resume. I done heard everything I need to hear. Now get out and go, go. Get, take your resume back. I'm the high tide. And get to the uh, Elijah boy again. Come in. Miss Chloe, I have a track record of exceeding targets and leading successful projects. I ain't even asked you all that, but you seem a little ambitious. I like that. Next! Get out. You haven't seen my resume yet. I don't need to see your resume. Now send that Jaden boy in. Whatever his name is. Don't slam my door neither. And pull up your pants. Come in. Good evening, Chloe. I bring strategic mindset and innovative ideas to the table. Miss Chloe, and I ain't asked you all that. I'm sorry. Take up my resume. I don't need this. You don't need it. No, I don't need it. I done heard everything I need to hear. But you ain't hear nothing yet. Yes, I did. Go on somewhere. Just get out. Just go. What you still doing in here? Didn't I just say get out? And don't slam my door. Okay, then. I've been watching you. How would you like a higher paying position? Oh, uh, sure. What do you have in mind? I need someone reliable, someone to take more responsibility, maybe oversee some of these hires. You think you can handle that? Yes, I can. Thank you for the opportunity. Good. Kaden, I need somebody to keep things running smoothly around here. Are you ready to step up? Absolutely. I won't let you down. You better not, because if I have any problems, you're going to be fired. Understood? Understood. And if you ever try that strike mess again, you're going to be fired on site. I promise, I will never chat it again. Oh, I know you won't. Now get back to work. Yes, ma'am. I still ain't found my assistant yet. Oh, it's one out there. Well, sit there. What's her name? Miche? Okay. Here you go right now. Come in. You must be Miss Miche. Yes, ma'am, I am. All right, why do you think you're the perfect fit for this assistant position? Well, I have experience in um, administrative roles. I'm fast and I'm good at multitasking. Excuse me, Miss Chloe, I really need to talk to you. Oh, you again, what you doing here? I feel like I'm the perfect person for this position. One, I have a degree in business administration and I have five years of experience being an executive assistant. I have over 10 years in various administrative roles, and I ran a company that had over 50 employees. Well, I've coordinated many large-scale projects, and I have excellent skills in project management software. Well, I'm proficient in all major cities around here. Can you top that? Can you top that? Well, I work directly with CEOs just like yourself, and I understand the high demands of this role. Well, I've been the backbone of multi-million dollar companies. Well, I'm very good at handling high pressure situations and tight deadlines. Well, I have kids, okay? So you know I know how to handle stuff under pressure and with a lot of chaos, Katie. Wait a minute, you got kids? How many? Five to be exact. Matter of fact, Malaysia and Rakai, they're my daughters. They work here. 
Your daughters are Malaysia and Rakaya? Yes, ma'am. They're my daughters, and they've been working here for years. Well, it's clear we have a winner. <gasps> Thank you, Chloe. I promise you, you will not regret your decision. I'm sure I won't. Tatiana, you're hired. Yes! Thank you, Miss Chloe. I'm sure you won't regret your decision. I'm sure I won't. I'm confused. Why didn't I get the job? Not that I owe you any explanations, because I don't. But first of all, you have kids, so you're not going to commit to this job like you're supposed to. And second of all, we don't hire family members here. I can assure you, make it up. Big mistake. Chloe don't make mistakes. You know what? I didn't want this job anyway. And this job didn't want you. I bet she don't do good either. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Tatiana, get settled in. You got a lot of work ahead of you. OK, I'll get started right away. Uh, where you going? Don't you want to know the description of these jobs? Um, you're right. Yes, ma'am, I do. Well, it wasn't like you had a choice. But I like coffee waiting on me. As soon as I arrive in the morning. Wait, why aren't you writing this down? Um, I don't have nothing to write with. Here. Yes, ma'am, I'm so sorry. See, Michelle, you starting off on the wrong foot already. Um, it's Tatiana. Whatever, Ebony. Now, like I was saying, I like coffee on my desk in the morning. Coffee, desk, for your arrival. Got it. Did I ask you to speak? Um, no, ma'am. Exactly. As a matter of fact, write this down. Only speak when I tell you to speak. Yes, ma'am. Did I tell you to speak? No, ma'am. So why are you speaking? I just thought... No, you thought wrong. Now, like I was saying, I don't like uninvited guests. I don't like coffee. Well, I kind of like coffee, but I don't like coffee. I just don't like the cream in the coffee. And I like ice... Yeah, I see the bling bling little bosses, yeah, little bosses.